welcome to another edition of Kogi in Focus, the program that keeps you abreast of happenings and development in and around Kogi, the confluent state of Nigeria, in the last seven days. Amuluatosin Usuji. On the program today, Kogi State Government, in collaboration with Socioeconomic Rights Group Action Aid, take poverty alleviation and agricultural development programs across the state. Strategic Pedestrian Bridge, other key infrastructure and security projects commissioned in Kogi Central. Water is life. And when we hit the streets, we will be hearing what the people have to say about public water supply in the state. All these and more when we return, don't go away. The Kogi State Government, in collaboration with Social Economic Rights Group Action Aid, has taken its campaign against poverty to the people of Kogi East. Residents of Kopata and Ofu local communities in Galamela or local government area are the latest beneficiaries of what has been described by the people as a timely intervention. Okpakpata and Ofu local community members hailed Action Aid and Kogi government for their efforts at providing facilities that will aid their agricultural activities. The Chief of Staff to the Governor, Edward Onoja, who acknowledged Action Aid support, said the state government will always put the people first in whatever it does. I've also shown that it's a critical asset for our women and our youths to help in job creation and divert people's attention from the normal white-collar job. His Excellency also, through the Ministry of Agric, had enhanced our farmers to be able to have what we call higher yields from their farms. State Commissioner for Agriculture, Oloron Tobakendi, also had words of advice for the beneficiaries. I just want to encourage all of us here to make good use of this facility for the benefit of our people. It is meant to alleviate poverty and therefore we should guide the general, we should protect it. It belongs to us. They have done it for us, it is our project. We should ensure that it is not vandalized so that generally generations yet of work can still benefit and we can replicate this in other local ways. The Action Aid Country Director explained the reason for its involvement in the anti poverty outreach. We want to thank the state government for very strong support they've given Action Aid as an organization. And we know strongly that. If the issue of violence is removed among our youth, they can channel their energy to other resourceful things. Community leaders expressed gratitude for the gesture and promised to heed to the advice given to them by putting the facilities to judicious use. This committee will ever remain in darkness. The actual aid and peace is for their immensely contribution to the economic well-being of our people. But as an Oliver Twist, we're always asking for more. At this junction, we hereby solicit for, uh, for your assistance in the areas of Boho and overhead tank for running of engines, drinking and other domestic water use. Facilities provided for the villagers include cassava and gari processing factory, rice boiler and stretcher, hand pump borehole and weighing machines. In a similar development, the Kogi State Government's moves to end poverty among rural dwellers continued in another collaboration with Socioeconomic Rights Group Action Aid as it commissioned a number of factories established for farmers across Kogi Central. Farmers in Osara, Zango and New Zango communities of Adavi and Okei local government areas. We are among the beneficiaries. Farmers in Kogi West have also benefited from a similar gesture. <laughs> The 
Ikogi State Commissioner for Agriculture and Chief of Staff to Governor Yahya Belu said the establishment of the factories is another demonstration of the state government's commitment to providing a better life for the people. About 500 kilometers of rural roads have been identified for the purpose of helping. It's, it's, it's a World Bank assisted project where funds just like actual uh, you, uh, this aids and the rest of them with partnership with government where you have your counterpart funding and they will bring their funds and this rural road so we have identified roads across the whole local governments in Kogi state 500 kilometer extent of road and i'm sure some of the roads that we have seen is part of those roads so that the ease from farm to processing centers to market will be allayed once and for all what i've seen is very wonderful. And the state government, that the state government is excellency able, is particularly grateful for this act of benevolence from Action Aids and PIPSIT. And we assure them of our continued partnership in alleviating or even eradicating poverty in Kogi State. The role of Action Aid was also acknowledged. I have no solution, but when this uh, organization came to our sure, community, sure, sure. they select some, some of the group, uh, women groups, they train them as a mentor leader, and that uh, from then, when there is a little problem within them, they will solve it without even community leaders. The community's representatives also commended Action Aid's efforts and called on government to provide the necessary infrastructure to aid the storage and transportation of their farm produce. <laughs> We thank government and action aid for their support. We want government to construct our roads to enable us move our farm produce to the market. We want Boho to watch cassava and also approval of soft load for our women to expand their farm businesses. Action aid says their support will not end here. We are actually looking at a scale up of those projects. Uh, and you know, this project has been funded by Global uh, Community Engagement uh, uh, Res uh, Resilience Fund. And it's a national, national uh, fund, uh, funding organization. And of course, there is already a bit out for the second part of this project, which we believe will extend to other communities. In addition to the establishment of factories and other facilities, Members of the benefiting communities are already being trained to ensure the facilities are used optimally. Mays Mailing, Cassava Processing Factory, Bakery and Block Body Factory are among recent facilities provided for the communities. If you are just joining us, this is Kogi in Focus, your weekly review of happenings in and around Kogi State in the last one week. For your contributions, comments, coverage and advert placements, please get in touch through any of our social media handles or phone numbers displayed on your screen.
women across the three senatorial zones of Kogi State have declared their support for President Muhammad Buhari and Governor Yahya Bello in forthcoming elections. The coordinator and convener of Women Group Amazon for Peace Initiative, Nana Aisha Abu Ali, at their maiden meeting in Lokoja, said it is the responsibility of all women to support good leadership, insisting that the problems created by past administrations over a long period of time cannot be solved in four years. The coordinator and convener, Nana Aisha Abu Ali, during her press briefing said, women must rise to their responsibilities as mothers of the nation and ensure their voices are heard. This is not a religious war. It's not a tribal war. It's a political game by politicians at the risk of lives and we must leave it. It is our duty to start by talking to our children, not to allow themselves to be abused. We must do everything and anything without, within our power to retain good governance in Kogi and Nigeria at large. Others at the meeting said women need to use their motherly instincts to spread love and ensure that evil-minded people do not succeed in their plans to create chaos. Yes, I want to implore us. There is nothing prayers cannot do. Number one thing we need to go into very vehemently is to pray for this country. To pray that God Almighty should descend should pass through Nigeria and give us peace. We need peace. There's nothing we can do without peace. We are one family in this state. There should be no discrimination. There's no tribalism. We shall do everything as one. Love. Love. Like Owena uh, said. Eh? One, one love. love. We believe in PNB and PYD for 2019. And we know that these leaders are out there trying to ensure that we need to have peace in the country. And it's our prayer that God can need to help them. And also help us in this endeavor, ensure that we're able to carry through this program to affect our generation positively. But with the spirit of maturity, we should be able to tolerate each other. We are not saying they are not here, they are here. They called on the government to do anything humanly possible to stop senseless killings and other forms of violence across the state. Amazon for Peace Initiative Foundation pledged its commitment to sustainable democracy, security of lives and property, and the well-being of vulnerable women and children in the society, and donated a branded bus to support election campaigns. The Kogi State Government has commissioned a pedestrian bridge at the Federal College of Education along the Okene Highway to reduce the number of fatal accidents there. The state's government also launched the erection of a transformer for the new Zango market community, which will also serve neighboring villages. <laughs> It was a smile all round for residents of Okehi local government area and students of Federal College of Education in Kogi State as the pedestrian bridge, transformer, cars and motorcycles for security surveillance were commissioned and distributed by the governor's representative, the special advisor on local government and chieftaincy affairs, Abubakar O'Hare. O'Hare said, providing for the people is government responsibility. Just a few months ago, we also commissioned that of Gerego, Adogo, Unosi, a via electricity project. We have done that of Gidan Doya in Lokoja community. We are done with uh, Garaja community. And today, 
to the schematic work of what we intend to do in okay, local government. I am assuring the community that in the next two months, this project will be over. The sole administrator of Okehi local government, Abdul Rahim Uhiare, explained what prompted him to push for the construction of pedestrian bridge. She's an Igala girl. She was the one that enrolled herself here. She was selling kerosene to make a living so that she can go to school. On that fateful day I was in FC, she came to get kerosene by the roadside to go back to hostel where she can sell and make some living for herself and pay her school bill. Pay her school bill. She was knocked down here. That struck my mind. And I was thinking that any day I'm part of a government that come to the system, that must be a pedestrian bridge. The provost of the Federal College of Education, Otite, said the pedestrian bridge will reduce the number of fatal accidents along the road where the victims have mainly been students of the institution. By implication, they, road, they, run, they come across the road into the college many times a day. And here being a highway uh, route, and uh, a very strategic one for Dormata, you have very high uh, flow of traffic. And by extension, it has always uh, given uh, a kind of negative uh, attendance to our students by way of experiencing not down by vehicles. It's good news to us. What he has promised is now going to be implemented. The contractor, traditional ruler, and students also comment. I'm equally promising you, just as the chairman, I mean, as the has said, with all team being equal, we we'll all convert here in the next three months to commission day. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, what they did here to put of everybody and the students. The state government says other parts of the state are said to benefit from a wide range of meaningful infrastructure facilities. Avoy Ungogu, AIT News, Otite. Members of the Batch A Stream 2 National Youth Service Corps posted to Kogi State held a low-keyed passing out parade at the State NYS Secretariat in Lokoja. The state coordinator, Alile Oludolakbo, who said the avoidance of the usual fanfare was due to the financial constraint, also described the service year for this group of core members as largely successful. The faces of happy youth corps members posted to Kogi State rounding off their mandatory 12-month service period at the state NYC secretariat as they collected their certificates of performance. It was an unusually low-key celebration, which was explained by the state NYC coordinator, Ahile Oludolapo. The major issue is that the scheme is preparing for another batch coming in. So there are lots of activities for this month. Olu Dolakbo, however, was full of praise for the core members, who she said made their presence felt. They've done a lot of sensitization on anti-corruption, on um, drug abuse, and the medical team had also done a medical outreach, about two medical outreaches to the communities in local jail. She advised some who played truant, using various excuses to stay away from duties to desist from such to enable them have good successes in their future endeavors. Some of them want to do the service here without commitment. Most times want to battle with, um, with um, medical problems. She said it wasn't all good news as one of the core members died following a prolonged battle with illness. The outgoing call members say their service year was worth the while. At first I wanted to redeploy, but thank God I met beautiful people around. 
I had oh, fun. Me now. I learned. <laughs> I met my beautiful friends and I learned a lot in my service here. Thank God I stayed back. Sometimes you get home, you just drink Gary, and sometimes you just sleep like that without eating anything. So it's not that it's something that is very uh, common, but at least sometimes that's what would show you that yes, I really, really sad. Here we are. This is my certificate. To God be the glory. Acquire the meeting skill, and that's my certificate for meeting here. So yeah. So I think that's one. And uh, one thing I've really benefited my stay here in Kogi State. I can't just say they just come here to get a certificate. But actually first God brought me to Kogi State to train me. Just like others who told me that when I when I almost let go, they're like, Regina, stay back. God brought to Kogi State to come and train. So I'm so sure that that's the reason why God brought me. Ah, my experience so far was great here in Kogi. I really enjoyed Kogi. I served in government house. Um, they so respect coppers very well there. They value coppers there. Yes, they give us the respect that is due to us. We appreciate that fact. They acknowledge the support they received from the state government and the warmth of the people. They called on the government to provide more basic amenities such as portable water and electricity, which will ensure that the next batch of youth coppers have a better service year than theirs. Kogi State's government has in recent times intensified efforts at providing clean, portable water to residents of the state. But the people of Odo Eto communities do not seem to have benefited from the state government's efforts as they have been struggling within their lean resources to repair government boreholes six months ago. Many of them have resulted to drawing and drinking water from a close by river. What we have here, we have a water, just a form of river, a river that we have the water come out from here. And sometimes the water will dry, especially during the time of raining season, I mean a dry season. When, the, the, when there is a rain, you know, sometimes we, should for, we forget about the rain, the, the one that is coming come out from uh, the, 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 the hill, that is the hill. Then when there is a, a, a dry season and uh, we are dragging with the uh, cattle, that is cows. And sometimes we have a problem with them, they are cheating inside. Then we cry to the state government, then the state government uh, uh, did a borehole for us. The one that we have now, we, the, the borehole is not working again and we are suffering now. And so if people will understand the way you tell them to come and to look for money or you tag them to, to come and repair the pay, to come and repair the borehole. Some they will agree, some they cannot agree. But all of me cannot do it because I have no money. We have people here, quite good number of people that are living in with us in this village and there is no good water for us to take to drink uh, the kogi state government built this water 2013 and uh, it works for some time and got bad the community put money together and repair it it developed another fault we repair it and now it has come to a stage where we are crying to the government because the community cannot afford money for now to put this water in order. The, we are seeking the assistance of the uh, uh, government to come to our aid. As mentioned earlier, the state government has made deliberate efforts to supply portable water to as many communities as possible. How successful has this been? That's the question we put to the people on this week's Views from the Streets. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's regular, but sometimes we used to have it at times two, three days. I want government to make it 24 hours so that anytime I want to use water, we see it and use it. The government are trying pertaining the water. We want them to add more effort to make it regular. We need the government to put more effort 
at least with 24 hours, we should be getting this water regularly. The water is regular. Sometimes it's not always. Yeah, these days is better. The next story is a pathetic one of a young man, Monday Shanini, seeking assistance from the government and well-meaning Nigerians. Monday was involved in a nasty motorcycle accident along Lokoja Ajakuta in November 2017. Monday has undergone two major operations but needs another to get his life back on track. However, the money for the surgery isn't just there. I have accident in November 29. So taking me to FMC. So now the treatment, when they have now, where they treat me, the remain one is the peace. I don't feel peace. The robot why they fix me now they peace. So now I do look for money now. I don't have money. Since then we have been going around to look, looking for money for for the surgery. We don't really have the money. So we are looking for help from everyone. Anybody can be able to help. The doctor in charge of the medical clinic said he was transferred from the Federal Medical Center, Lokoja also speaks. They ordered for the operation, and the operation cost him a lot of money, almost to 300 pounds. But he has no money to pay for the hospital bill to go for the surgery. So we are appealing to the government or any individual, especially people from the chairman of Basaluku government, who are appealing to them if they can have aid to help this boy because he has been suffering for long. The parents are poor. He has nobody to help you. We wish Monday and his family all the best. Well, this is where we draw the curtain on today's edition of the program. Make it a date with us on this station same time next week for a fresh edition. I remain yours sincerely, Oluwatosi Osuji, reminding you to keep doing to others what you want them to do to you. Have a pleasant week.